I do think art is different, a different type of retail than almost any other retail. Actually, huh. growing, growing up, I worked at a Christmas store in a little town in Barrington, New Hampshire. That's that's where I was raised, and um, I worked for a wonderful family, and they ran this Christmas store, and so I got I got experience in retail from about the age of thirteen, and I got to see like the process of what they brought in, how they would stock the shelves, and all the various things. Um, the one thing I would say that distinguishes art different from any other retail, like you don't need art. Let's say you could you could make a you could make a case that like it's not something that someone has to buy to survive. It's it's not an item. It's not like food. It's not like gas. It's not like heating the house. Yeah. But then I would simultaneously make the argument: you do you do need these things. Like we all need beauty in our lives. We need meaning in our lives. And I would I would say like art brings those things to the table. And so people's willingness to make that jump and collect a piece, that's that's going to bring them an intrinsic value that maybe they don't even see the day they purchase it, but it's gonna live with them. And I mentioned it in the opening, but there's there's paintings that I've been looking at since I've been a little kid of my grandmothers and my great grandmothers. And I still have one in, in my kitchen today. And like that influence, it's on me. I mean, it's a seascape and it's, it's no wonder, like a lot of what I like to paint are, are seascapes. I grew up close to the coastline and but then also the artwork, it's, it's all those little things, like they make their way into your subconscious. 